You read that right, the new Genshin killer, also known as Wuthering Waves. I just had to talk about this, but maybe we're finally gonna have a competition. Is there the same category, unlike Tower of Fantasy, so Wuthering Waves looks promising. Let's talk about it. Will Wuthering Waves kill Genshin? And to answer that first, let's talk about the meaning of kill Genshin, as that doesn't mean that Genshin will die. The word kill here means that it will surpass it, and in my opinion that will be a very hard thing to do. But if Wuthering Waves improves on the problems that people are complaining about, I think that it has a great chance of staying up. Wuthering Waves looks amazing, the graphics, the combat, the way of farming, they're all good and many more. Of course there are the downsides like the theme of the game, it needs to be more saturated, the story and other stuff need to improve but they actually listened to feedback and said that they will improve the story and everything. So I think Wuthering Waves unlike Tower of Fantasy will stand a chance if they manage to improve and deliver as the game is overhyped, that is a fact. Don't get me wrong, I like Genshin Impact and I like playing it, I just want it to do better and by that I mean to give more rewards, to offer more content, to make the RNG better as the weapon banner sucks. So does the 50-50, just a bit less. They can also give rewards, at least it makes it a bit more fair and I know what you're going to say, that the game is casual yeah. and targets casual players but that is no excuse for lack of content and endgame. End game doesn't mean hardcore challenges, it can be something fun that you unlock in the end game, just something to do. After you're done with everything, there is nothing much for you to do, except wait and do the same thing every day. Let's be honest, it gets boring. Star Wars is also a casual friendly game, but it has end game. I want Wuthering Waves to do well, so we can have competition. Because that will mean that Hoyo need to step up their game and give the love, content and rewards that we as the players deserve. And no, this is not a video about hating Genshin, just a video about wanting the game that I enjoy playing to do better. Thank you all so much for watching, if you like the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe, that means a lot to me. I love you all and I'll see you all in the next one.